Morning, girls. Oh, all quiet this morning. All quiet this morning. Mm hmm. Hi. Let's get you open. Hey. Let's get you open. Hi, you ones. Come on. Hey, girls. How you come? There, look, there's nice things. Mm -hmm. Some sardines and some poultry breakfast goodies. There you go. Hello, Bambles. Oh, Beryl, you're always the last. There. Mm hmm. So what I've got there is, I've, I, um, I'll show you the, the tub, but it's a, a sort of pot of, I think it's like chicken breakfast they call it, I'm not quite sure. Um, it is a, a sort of collection of seeds and goodies that chickens like, and I put a little bit of warm water in that just to soften it up. Let that cool and then I pop in some sardines. And the reason I'm doing this is that a number of the girls are sort of either going into molt or coming out of molt and I like to make sure that they get some nice high-end protein to help with that. So this is the stuff that I sometimes give the girls in the morning. It's called Fruit and Berry Treat Mix from Nature's Grub. And it contains naked oats, red dairy, micronized barley, micronized wheat, raisins, millet, oyster shell, rolled naked oats, black sunflower seeds, apple, cranberries, apricots, micronized peas, kibbled peas. Um, let me just open it up. Find the... Go. So what I have tended to do is put some warm water in that and um, maybe pop something else in like uh, some tuna or some sardines and they find it quite nice and I'm sure with all those good ingredients in it that it can only be good for them, as long as it's not what they're fed on all the time and as long as they um, don't get too much of it. Oh, you can see there's... <laughs> they, they tend to pick out the, the sardines. That Jemima just got a great big bit of sardine and scoffed that down. It's actually quite a nice day today. Um, it's not too cold, it's quite clear and it's not raining and not windy at the moment, which is just a joy because we've had some really pants weather over the past few weeks. Not unexpected because it's winter time. Is it winter yet? Is it just autumn? August, uh, September, October, November? I think we're still in autumn, but anyway, um, it's, you know, the time of year for the miserable weather, but, um, it doesn't make it any more palatable. Edith's the latest one to, to start a molt. Hopefully she won't get it as bad as she did last year. But she is looking a bit moth-eaten at the moment. And her comb that normally stands proud is a bit shrunken, a bit shriveled. She's not looking quite the elegant soul that she normally does. Are you not, Edith? But you don't know that because you can't see yourself in the mirror. Because there's no mirrors to, to look in.
it's nice to see them actually come out and wander a bit away from the run because actually for what seems like weeks but it's certainly been a number of days they have not really wanted to come out at all oh are you doing your flamingo impersonation So you can see she does look a bit, a bit more eaten in the back. Oh, and then if you look just below her ear, there was a little, there was a few pin feathers there. Look at this, I've been collecting up my pots to, to get them cleaned and put away. And there's a lid there that's got some water in it. And they just love drinking out of illicitly acquired water. Hey, Beryl. <laughs> so what I wanted to talk to you about in this week's Chicken Tuesday is about lighting because of course now it doesn't get light until well, I don't know half past seven almost eight o'clock I think and um, it gets dark at four o'clock um, or thereabouts certainly here in the west of Scotland anyway so um, we're lucky in so much as and you've got to see the uh, silver lining in every cloud. You know, the whole COVID thing has meant that um, we're working from home all the time, which means that we can jump out at lunchtime or at break time and see to the girls uh, in the daylight. But uh, still at night time, when we're checking them in their uh, coop and maybe doing a final check of the run, we like to have some light. Uh, and certainly when we're not at home, uh, you know, if we're back, when we get back working in offices and so on, at this time of year, it's a bit of a nightmare to see the girls in daylight because, you know, artificial light is is fine. You can see them and you can get an idea of how they're doing and you can see to, to skip them out and so on. But there's nothing really that replaces proper daylight to see how they are, how they're behaving, and particularly if you can let them out in the daylight to, to wander about and you then get an understanding of anyone if they're looking a bit off colour, uh, that maybe you wouldn't have got if you had just checked them in the run. So yeah, lighting. I just want to show you the light that I use, and I have been using for the past probably year and a half now. Um, and I use it in the, the coop, I use it in the run, I used it with the quail. Um, I have three of them, I'll probably get more. Um, uh, but let me just show you what it is. Um, I'm not sponsored at all. In fact, I can't even remember where I got these. Well, I got them from Amazon. I'm not sure of the company, but I'll look that up for you. And hopefully they still do them. Uh, but it'll give you an idea of what to look for if you're looking for something to light your your chickens and you don't have power to your coop or your run, which is the case with me. So, let me just show you. <coughs> Now I haven't actually, this is me just first thing, so I haven't actually cleaned them out yet, but this is a light here. It's very light, it's plastic, and it is powered, uh, it's got a battery, and you just, it's got a US, USB, or it goes to a USB that you can use to charge it. And it is really, you know, it's really, it's got a little hook, really easy to hook up on something, and it gives you lots of light. Now, it's daylight now, so I don't know how you'll see. But if I just click it, <coughs> um, I think the camera will be compensating a bit. But this is really quite light. Um, very light, in fact. And it will light this entire run and part of the extension to the run very, very easily when it's dark. Uh, yeah, so I absolutely love it. And it's, yeah, I've not got it on for long periods of time. Uh, but even if I did have, it's not a problem because um, it's easy to charge. 
Uh, the one thing I would say about it is that it has different modes. So when you're switching it off, you've got to... Um, let me just put it on my, my knee here to make it easier. There's a little button at the top there. And if, if you press it once, um, it goes a bit dimmer. Press it again, and it goes a bit dimmer again. Press it again, and then you get this whole flashy thing happening, which is good, I suppose, in emergencies if you've got it in the car, for example. Press it again, and you get flashy thing again, but not quite as quick and press it again and it's off so switching it on <laughs> you just press that button once but then to switch it off you've got to press it three or four times um, it's not a big deal you know on and then click 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 and it's off so uh, but you know on the on the, the positive side it's got those different options of lighting you know dimmer or flashing if you so desired not I would imagine you would need the flashing for the chickens, but if you wanted to use this in another environment. Oh, what are you girls saying? Hmm? Am I in the doorway? I think you should stay out and, lay and stretch your legs for a wee bit, girls. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. Yes, hello there. Oh, Beryl, hi, darling. Yeah, so um, what I'll do is I'll go on to Amazon, which is where I got it from, and see if I can find the link to the light, and I'll pop it up um, in the description against this video if you're interested in the light. I'll just show you it in the, the coop as well, because I've got one in there, and I use that all the time when I'm, uh, because it's dark in the coop anyway, there's no windows in there, so I always switch that on when I'm um, skipping out the coop and checking on the girls at night. So, yeah, I hope you find that useful. Let's go and see in the coop. <coughs> okay, so here we are. Here's the coop. And it's daylight outside, but you can see that it's not very... And again, I haven't, I haven't skipped out in here yet. It'll take me two minutes and it'll be nice and clean. Um, yeah, so it's... Not particularly light in here. You get some light coming in from the the pop hole there, and obviously I've got this door open. But there we have the little light. Do that, and it completely uh, floods the the coop with light, and I can see what I'm doing when I'm checking on the girls at night or when I am cleaning the coop.
Hello. What a racket. Are you girls telling me you want to go back in? <laughs> oh well, I think they're telling me they're wanting back in. They've had their legs stretch and they want to go back in and luxuriate in their run for a few hours and we'll get them back out again at lunchtime, I think, or maybe later in the morning. In fact, I'm due to be out here doing a fair bit of tidying today, so I'll just probably leave the run door open when I come back out and let them come and go if they so desire. So, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, short insight into the lighting that I use and enjoyed seeing the girls again this week and I think that'll that'll do for now if you have enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you do like the Chicken Tuesday videos at the end of this one I'll post a link to the the series of Chicken Tuesdays that I do um, I think we're on well into the, the 70s now so there's plenty of videos to to get your fix if you um, enjoy Chicken Tuesday um, yeah so uh, for now I will see Bye-bye.